Today we are unboxing my brand new custom in-ear monitors from JH Audio. So we got the box here. It's in a bit bigger of a box than I thought. Now this whole thing started a couple months ago when I decided I wanted to get custom in-ear monitors for playing music live. I had to go and get impressions done of my ears so that they were custom fit. And that took a little bit of time and then I sent the impressions off to JH Audio and then they were able to make my custom in-ears. Look at how nice this box is. So I got to pick my own design. I wanted on these and everything. Oh, look at that. They even have my name, Cass Elman, engraved on the case. So cool. Okay, there we go. Up there. This looks like a little cleaning tool that you can use to Keep your in-ears clean. Yeah, we got a sticker of the JH Audio logo, and here's the case. It's a nice, like, metal case. It has my name engraved on it there. All right, let's open these up. Oh, man. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, they look perfect. So these are them. They're like a really hard plastic. I thought they were gonna be like a bit squishier, but I went with the transparent red and transparent blue. And so I've got red with a Spider-Man logo on one side and then JH Audio on the other side. And I went with the clear cable. So we've got the blue one here and we've got the red one that has the Spider-Man face on it. That's awesome. Okay, I guess we gotta try them on, eh? This is what they look like in my ears. Here, let's get a little closer. Oh yeah, those are great. They like don't stick out. I guess we should uh, plug them in and see how they sound. And there's a playlist I have specifically for testing out headphones and speakers and stuff. Whoa, this is crazy. There's like so much spatial... It's funny because no one else can test these to see if they're good because they're custom fit to my ears. So much spatialization. It's like I can t I don't know, it's like I can tell where the four different drivers are. Alright, there's one song that I always test headphones on and it's This Could Be Anywhere in the World by Alexis on Fire. Let's see how it does. It seems like a lot of people do too because it has 40 million plays on it. Spotify. Oh. Yes. Whoa. These are so cool. Okay, let's see what... Oh man, these are awesome. These are, these are so cool. I'm so fortunate to have signed an artist partnership with JH Audio recently, and I can't be grateful enough for this opportunity to be able to represent the brand and get to use their in-ear monitors. Now, I personally went with the JH11s, which are a quad driver IEM. I think this is the perfect balance for me because I needed something that was within my budget, but also something that had the clarity and the depth that I needed for a live performance. As a bass player, it's really important for me to have enough low end to be able to hear everything that I'm playing, 
but also very important to have enough high end so that I can hear the vocals over top. The driver configuration consists of two low, one mid, and one high. And the frequency response of these goes from 10 hertz all the way up to 17 kilohertz, which is almost the entire spectrum of the human ear. Humans can hear roughly 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is also known as 20 thousand hertz so there's definitely more than enough range in these in-ears i am so excited to bring these on tour and see what they can do really push them to their limits see how much better and clearer that my mixes are i know that compared to my old sure se215s that these are going to be game changer the se215s are awesome in-ears to start out with but my ear canals are kind of small they're like a bit on the small side and even the small tips on the SE215s were too big for my ears. So it's really nice to have something custom fit that isn't going to fall out all the time. Again, just super excited to be testing these out and see how they work with my lifestyle as a musician. Now, if you're not a professional musician, you don't need custom in-ear monitors. I know a lot of in-ears have been common in the gaming space lately because they're really sleek, compact, and look great, but I highly recommend sticking to the consumer level of in-ear monitors for that, where these are definitely catered to people who are touring all the time and need that clarity on stage. All right, let's go test them out in the real world. Bye, I love you. See you on Thursday. You stay there. Stay. I have arrived in Toronto. Shrek is hanging out with me. I'm uh, staying at my sister's house for the week while we prepare for a show with T. Thomason at the Baby G. Today we have a rehearsal and it's the first one with the uh, this drummer, Max. He's I've played with him before. He's great. But um, it's been a minute since I've seen him, so excited to get together and try these new tunes. So I'm in the rehearsal spot in Toronto. This room is so cool. It's called the Supernova Room at Lynx Music. Uh, Lynx Music is a really, really awesome place for rehearsals that you can rent out and it has all the gear you need. So yeah, I'm gonna get set up and get ready before everyone else gets here for the rehearsal. So today is show day. I just finished doing some last minute prep, testing out the wireless systems. But look outside, there is so much snow. Hoping that won't affect the gig too much, hoping people will still come out and that it'll still be a good time. 
But yeah, just uh, gonna get all of this stuff packed up. Right now we're using the new Sennheiser XSW in-ears. And for a little bit I thought there was something weird going on. There's a lot of noise, but I think it's actually coming from my unit um, on the back. So I don't know if it's a power issue or if it's just the outputs or what, but it's all good. We got our things labeled for me and T. Max, who's playing drums, is going wired, so that's not an issue. Getting everything all ready. Also, say hi to Shrek.